The poaching issue in this country is obviously rife. It's been like that for the last seven, eight years. We've had to pull all the tools out the toolbox um, to help conserve rhinos as a species, and dehorning is one of them. Dehorning is important for us because it's, a, it's quite a radical measure that we've taken to safeguard the population of rhinos in Baluli. It's certainly not the solution, but it's a very important part of combating the onslaught on the rhinos. Over the last couple of days, we've assisted Baluli Nature Reserve with a follow-up dehorning. In selected hot spots, they do find rhinos that are you know, quite susceptible to poaching. We'll put a spotter plane up to assist with looking for the rhinos. It's just much cheaper to use a fixed wing than a helicopter. Once the rhino is located, relay the message to the helicopter. Helicopter and vet goes up, puts a dart in the rhino. Ground team stabilizes the rhino. We make sure it's everything's good, put it on oxygen, administer a partial reversal, just to, to make sure that physiologically it's very stable and there's, there's minimal risk of any complications there. Once we're happy with all of that, we'll take the horn off with a chainsaw. We find a chainsaw is very quick. You take off the bulk of the horn with the chainsaw and then you try and shave down and round off as much as possible. Then we'll just put a little bit of hoof oil on the, on the horn and then administer the reversal and, and off the rhino goes, you know, sort of none the wiser. It's very important that you've got uh, equipment that works and that's not going to let you down, you know. You've only got one chance when you mobilize that animal. Because of the rhino horn that's so thick, um, they, they've pretty much got two different chainsaws that they used. It was a 61cc that was used to cut off the base of the horn and then a 440 chainsaw as well. It's got a, a finer chain. Then we also tested our battery chainsaw, which has done exceptionally well. And then bigger sprayers, obviously, to keep the rhino's temperatures down. And then with that, we accompanied it with our battery blower to help reduce the, the temperature further. Husqvarna has really, really come through for us with a massive amount of equipment and, and just excellent quality. The horning is the end product, is that you have to first maintain an environment in which rhinos can exist. And with that is efficient felt management. We have a felt management division within Husqvarna. So it's the rehabilitation of felt to its pure state and to obviously take out alien invasive plants and encroachment. And through that, it's habit, habitat management. And we've taken it one step further, and this is where the dehorning comes in. For reserves going forward, they've got to find the budget to make these projects possible, because we know how effective they are. And by getting that support from Husqvarna, just that step further, more financially feasible. The thing for us is, is longevity and sustainability. And, and you know, thanks to Husqvarna, there's a possibility that we can grow this relationship going forward you know, and become the face of dehorning. Until that day comes where we don't need it anymore. <laughs>